Our next speaker is Francis Torres. Astrophysicist by day, accordion rock star by night. <laughs> Francis enjoys sharing his wonder and love of the universe. He also enjoys cliff jumping at Blackwall Reach and impersonating waiters at fancy restaurants. <laughs> Francis is a PhD student in physics and is close to completing his PhD. His thesis title is Design, Manufacturing and Testing Micromedical Resonators for Novel Geophysical Tool. And his three minute thesis title today is Optoacoustic Amplification for Space Exploration. Can you think of anything more exciting than stepping off a spaceship, exploring a new planet, looking for water, rare minerals, or other life forms, using our finest available exploration tools? But what if our best is just not good enough out there? In my research, we find that by understanding how light and sound dance together, we can improve existing technologies such as metal detectors, biosensors, or Kelsey's research, any applications where we look for small signals. This dancing happens when laser light is bouncing back and forth between two mirrors. These mirrors shake because of temperature, and we call this shaking sound. Now picture sound and light as dancing partners. By mimicking each other's shapes and moves, it's possible for light to amplify mirror motion. And we call this the optoacoustic amplification. Great, but how does that help us? We propose to use this amplification of mirror motion to boost the performance of existing tools and amplify small signals until they are detectable. We do this by carefully designing miniature mirrors as the top right figure. And I realize this may not be your IKEA first choice mirror, but for physicists, it's quite fine. Then we connect the sensor to the back of the middle paddle shown on the inset of the top right figure. This way, small signals are amplified by this dance, and bam, we have detection. My PhD entails assessing the feasibility of such a device, as well as the design, manufacturing, and testing of the special mirrors. And we have France, Taiwan, Queensland, and Perth working together to build my mirrors. And those mirrors have to have a very high quality factor for the device to work. What's quality factor? It's a measure of how long the mirror motion vibrates after being excited, just like hitting a bell how long does it ring? Already, our mirrors are outperforming similar prototypes from around the world. And at this stage, it's still a little early to send my mirrors out in space. However, our results are very promising for improving existing technologies in a range of fields such as Earth and space exploration, biology and medicine. My name is Francis. And I, for one, dream of seeing Mars rover-like vehicles, exploring other worlds, and using a device with my name on it, the Framplifier. Thank you.